This video covers an experiment we did at Skylark Wireless, my employer. In this experiment, we transmitted an LTE waveform from an IRIS radio module and received it on another IRIS radio module, as well as several other off-the-shelf SDR devices. All of the devices pictured are supported by SOAP SDR, which means we could write a single application to transmit and decode an LTE waveform and run it on all of the devices pictured without very much effort. There were some quirks involving sample rate limitations on certain devices, which I will go into more on the next slide. On the left, we have the transmitter, which is a Skylark Iris 030. It has the wideband development front end on it with switching modes for TDD and FDD, and it supports two channel. In this configuration, we're using one transmit channel and configuring the iris to transmit at 7.68 mega samples a second for a 5 megahertz LTE frame bandwidth. On the right hand side, we have our receivers. They'll be receiving the LTE waveform, synchronizing and decoding the cell ID from the frame PSS and SSS signals. The first device is also an iris radio module configured for 7.68 mega samples per second. It's using the receive port of the wideband front end. The IRIS-030 radio modules can be connected together in a daisy chain topology or connected individually to gigabit ethernet to provide both IQ samples and power. The next device is also a network-based product. It's the USERP N200. This is a device I also had a hand in developing back in the day. It has some sample rate limitations, however. Its master clock rate is 100 megahertz and the decimation is an any integer multiple down from that. So we weren't able to achieve 7.68 mega samples exactly. However, the decoder was still able to pull out the PSS and SSS regardless. In the middle is the Lime SDR. I was involved in their crowdfunding campaign as well as early driver development. It sports an FX3 for USB communication and the LMS7, which is what the IRIS also uses for dual channel receive and transmit. After that we have the Blade RF which also sports the FX3 for USB communication as well as the LMS6, an earlier single channel transmit and receiver. Overall a pretty solid device. And finally we come to the ubiquitous RTL SDR dongle. Although not actually pictured here, it's plugged into the back of a computer. You can see an antenna connected to it. This device also posed a special sample rate problem because it's limited to two mega samples per second. However, we were still able to receive and decode the subframes that fit within the two mega samples per second bandwidth that contain the cell ID, the PSS, and SSS. Here's a live shot of the setup. On the left, we have the IRIS radio module acting as a transmitter. Over here, you can see the RTL SDR dongle plugged into the back of this little PC. Here's the Blade RF, Lime SDR. Get a peek at the front of this. This is the USERP N200. And finally, we have the IRIS radio module acting as a receiver for the LTE waveform. Let's check out this pretty cool LTE frame designer. First, we'll change some parameters to match. We're using 5 megahertz of channel bandwidth uh, and one antenna. Notice the colors for PSS and SSS. We'll see those below. So as we scroll down on the y-axis, we have frequency and on x is time. Here we see the PSS and SSS signals. These are actually where we're going to decode cell ID. And they don't actually take the full bandwidth of the channel. Now we're going to run the command line application. It's going to open all six devices and configure them. It's going to load the transmitter with the data and tell the receivers to start sending samples to the host. You can see it's running now. And there we have one, two, three, four, five cell IDs were all decoded. To wrap things up, SOAP SDR is a powerful tool that allowed us to work with a variety of SDR devices and rapidly prototype an LTE decoder. The live video snippets and the LTE code were actually someone else's project, so I hope I did a good job covering that. If you have any questions about the IRIS radio modules, please check out the Contact Us link. And thanks for watching.